Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the briefing for Tuesday, the 13th of August. OK, so yesterday we had this fairly weak cold front pass through about midday, uh, and this left us with a better air mass than we started with yesterday morning, a little bit more unstable, although it is going to be quite breezy today from the southwest, which it probably is going to reduce uh, the, the potential of cross-country flying. Um, Midday today shows a cold front followed by an occlusion just out to the west. I don't think we're going to see any effects of that um, during the daytime. Midnight, they're showing it to sort of be over the top of us. Midday tomorrow, potentially a little bit uncertain with these fronts over us still. Uh, but then as we go later into the week, uh, Thursday looking quite windy. But then Friday currently looking like a very good day. We have a cold front. Currently passing through very early morning, um, leaving behind it potentially a very good soaring day. So winds today, sort of south southwest between two zero zero and two two zero. So that puts us on runway two three with a very slight crosswind from the left hand side. Sat pick, it's, it's it looks like there's some upper wispy cloud at the moment in our area, but we are clear of this larger mass of cloud to the west, which I suppose could be associated with that front. Mm -hmm. Um, I. We may get a little bit of cloud from it, but I don't think we're going to have any big effects from it. You can see some rain associated further west with that front. We run through the rainfall forecast to see where that goes. It's very slowly coming towards us, uh, but it's not a risk by the looks of it. This is 4 p.m., 6 p.m. It's a little bit closer going into the evening. It doesn't look like it's going to get to us. So it probably means you won't want to go very far west if you do go cross country, but it's not going to be a big problem locally. Public forecast then showing a sunny day with a few clouds here and there with a steady breeze from the southwest. Top temperature a little bit cooler than yesterday, about 22 degrees uh, with a fairly stiff southwesterly breeze. So it will be feeling probably a lot more cool out there than it was yesterday. Midday temperatures, 23, 24, potentially on GFS, a little bit later on. Very similar, much warmer into London, but 22, 23, probably, uh, I expect we have. Dew points around 10 degrees later on in the afternoon, slightly less, eights and nines, potentially. Uh, that's a view outside 15 minutes ago, if that refresh hasn't checked. Well, actually, there's a little bit of cumulus starting to develop. Otherwise, breeze straight down to three. Temperature dew points at the moment, 16 degrees, dew points of uh, 14, so quite close to each other. Need to dry out a little bit. Odium's forecast, nice and short, uh, eight knots from the southwest, and they've put here a few clouds at 1,600 feet. I suppose that's just a little bit this morning, but that will lift up into uh, either blue or some proper cumulus later. OK, this is your potential flight distance for the day on top meteo. Uh, looks better to the north. Uh, clearly not very good if you go a long way west near that front. Uh, but north, uh, Oxford, Husbos direction and into Cambridgeshire is looking better. Thermals, again, going by about midday by the looks of it. Blue to about 3,000 feet on this forecast. And it looks like it's certainly going to be blue all day. Uh, much better to the north, looks like it's going up to about 4,000 feet uh, and quite a lot more consistent up there by the looks of it. In our area, we're right on the edge of a poorer area to the south and slightly better to the north. I expect we'll be seeing the effect of the sea breeze uh, fairly early in the afternoon today. If we look at top meteor site forecast for Lasham, thermal strength two knots by about midday, two to two and a half knots in the afternoon. Uh, with usable height above ground level about two and a half to three thousand feet in the afternoon. Sky sight also not showing it to be great in our area, a little bit better to the north, but not quite as consistently better as Top Meteo was showing. Uh, they're showing the best part as usual to be over central London. Uh, and yeah, fairly spotty up to the north and not very good out to the west. We have a look at a point forecast for Lasham. Okay, so soarable showing by uh, earlier, actually. Two and a half to three knots by about 11 o'clock. 
then three and a half knots going into the afternoon uh, with a soarable height, not that high, about two and a half to 3,000 feet max. And it looks like it's almost certainly going to be blue with the condensation level quite a lot higher than the soarable height. Just for reference, we'll look at a point forecast somewhere a little bit further north. So this area where it's looking slightly better. Thermal's up to more like four knots and thermal's getting a little bit higher later in the day, up to about 4,000 feet, but still very unlikely to see any cumulus by the looks of it. Okay, no TAMs. The only one that I can find that may affect people is Little Risen to an ATZ is activated. Otherwise, there's one here east of Hasbos. There's some parachuting. If you do happen to go that way, have a look at that one, but I doubt people will be going that far today. Operationally, then, it's going to be 2 3 today with that southwesterly wind. Launch point in the normal position. We'll probably have the winch slightly offset like this. Uh, or we we may have it in line with the runway, depending on what exactly the wind is doing. But we're just launching off the grass as normal. All aerotoes will be off the grass in the direction of 2-3 as normal. And just a reminder, these red areas painted here, please do not land on them. Treat them as an emergency only option. And instructors, please take over as necessary to avoid landing on these areas uh, to save the glider's tyres, please. Okay, uh, clock gliders, we've got 5K21s, 2K13s, 3 baby grubs, and all 3 discuses. No movements today. Uh, just a reminder, anyone who is going cross-country, coming back, um, will be on 2-3 almost certainly all day. So that means all landings are on 2-3, unless there's a good safety reason dictating otherwise. In which case, let us know and keep a good lookout for other traffic on 2-3. But um, almost that's almost never the case. So all landings to 2-3, please. And as I mentioned, no landing on the hard cross runways uh, south of the main runway. Simulators usable as normal. Uh, and I'd just like to draw your attention, should all be very familiar with it, uh, to our ground handling manual. I was informed of another incident last night of uh, people towing a baby grub into the back of the rudder of a K21. Fortunately, only cosmetic damage. Um, but it's really silly. It should not be happening. So that was a case of they were behind a buggy, turning to the back of the winch queue, holding the opposite wingtip to the wingtip that hit the glider. Uh, so this is this is pretty basic stuff, guys. Um, please make sure you're familiar with this guidance. So not only familiar, but you actually implement it. So stuff like not towing gliders near other ones, keeping a half wingspan distance. And which wing to hold? Again, basic stuff. If you're towing near an obstruction, you hold the wingtip that is nearer the obstruction. If you're not towing near an obstruction, you hold the interwind wing. If that means you need to swap wings two or three times during the tow, then you'll do so. Buggy driver should also be aware of that and stop as needed uh, to allow the wing holder to swap round. Uh, let's really try and get on top of this because uh, we're, we seem to be breaking a lot of stuff recently. All right, see you out there. Hopefully you have a good day. Bye for now.